All right, hello and welcome back to Pinky's Garage. Today we've got non-performance pack brakes and performance pack brakes. We're gonna put them on today. No one's behind me. Down the forehead. Holy cow. My sub just slid all the way behind my seat. Okay, these are a 310 millimeter design, single piston calipers. Again, 310 millimeter. These are 340 millimeter. Again, still a single piston design on the caliper, but in this case, distance is gonna be key. So, impact gun, half inch ratchet, 3 8 inch ratchet, quarter inch ratchet, 13 millimeter open end wrench for the caliper slide pins, 21 millimeter socket for the caliper carrier bolts, 17 millimeter socket for the wheels, T30 for the uh, rotor set screw, and a flat head for any prying we've got to do, probably for the brake pads. For the brake pads, these are Hawk Performance Pads, caliper, Performance Pack, Caliper Carriers, 034 Motorsports, two-piece floating rotor design. This is 18 and a half pounds each, which is the same weight as these, although these are bigger, so we're not losing anything on weight. However, we are going to lose some weight, or gain some weight, rather, with these bigger calipers. But these are Performance Pack calipers. RBF 600 high temp brake fluid made by Motul. Then we've got our dust shields. Let's get to it. All right, so now we're gonna take our 13 millimeter. Once you break those flathead, take this clip out. There she goes. And then this should be low enough to just sit on the ground. For now. millimeter and a half inch ratchet lefty loosey T30. T30 quarter inch ratchet. Alright, so now let's do a wire brush. Let's use some wheel cleaner. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is there is a 12 millimeter nut right here coming from the hard brake line and there is a little line on that that has to coincide with the little line on this little bracket thing so it's right there but we gotta line that up. So I'm gonna loosen that and quickly, if you have your car jacked low enough, the lines would reach. And I'm gonna quickly try to put this one in and uh, just try to do it as quick as possible, I guess. He's 
these rotors are directional. So if you look at the side, it says rotation and an arrow, which is actually the opposite way I thought it would be. So it's going to go like this, and then the cooling fins are going to be escaping outwards. So I guess it inhales air here and escapes out here. This is not the intake for the cooling fins. Alright, so that's a wrap pretty much on this side. Um, some things to note, when you're pressing this caliper back in, it's a bit different on this model versus the non-performance pack because you don't just have a slot like that to put your C-clamp through. So you gotta get a little bit more creative and I use this uh, woodworking clamp and that got it up down up down up down all right the fronts are bled the wheels are on the wheels are clean now and uh now we gotta bleed the rear all right down down up down brakes are installed and initial feel they feel fantastic they uh the first half inch of the pedal is super strong about as strong as i would say an inch of maybe the uh non-performance pack pads now we have to bed in the brakes which hawk recommends these are hawk brake pads that we just go 60 miles an hour to five miles an hour about five times but I like to do until I kind of experience brake fade and then one more after that so we're gonna get her up to 60 
All right guys, performance pack brakes are installed. I kind of lied, you do need a few more tools, but I'll walk you through it. Starting over here, I used some woodworking grips. That was to, uh, to uh, squeeze the caliper piston back in. Slide glide, it's a silicone based lubricant for the caliper slide pins. Flashlight, wire brush, clean the wheel bearing, flathead. These two tools to uh, try to remove the clips for the brake lines. Used a syringe to clean out the uh, brake fluid reservoir. 21 millimeter for the uh, caliper carrier bolts. T30 on a ratchet for the hard ones. T30 on a screwdriver for the easy ones. Vice grips for holding the caliper slide pins while you take them off. 13 mil for the caliper slide pins themselves. 11 millimeter for the brake lines. Any C's, I had to get another bottle, but that was my old one. Been with me for years, and then I just bought that. Brake parts cleaner, heavy duty wheel cleaner, and citrus degreaser. Over here, the pads are good. The pads are good. And uh, all of this was in working order, just felt like doing a little upgrade. Other than that, we went through a liter and two thirds of the brake fluid. Not too bad. So these two are full. This is a third full. This is full of old stuff and that. 